This is all very recent beaver damage. You can tell they're getting after this side of it. And in another few months, this tree is going to be completely down if we don't do something about it. Once a beaver eats through this cambium layer, and it's called girdling if it goes all the way around the tree. If they girdle this entire tree, it's dead. It'll stay standing for some time, but it'll die. <laughs> Look at this beautiful cottonwood tree. Not that long ago, it stood true and tall, provided shade. Probably a 20, 30 year old tree right there that has recently been felled by beavers. Uh, that's what beavers do. However, if you live along a waterway, you have property near a creek, you're gonna have the potential for beavers to cause damage to your trees. By preventing the beavers from causing damage, you're not hurting the beavers in any way. There's plenty of forage out there for them. They've got willows, saplings, and, a, and a, an assortment of other food sources. But a tree like this being felled is a, is a real shame to lose. So I'm gonna show you a non-lethal way. It doesn't hurt the beavers at all. It'll protect your trees for years to come. So come with me and I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Well, the tools for this project are pretty simple and straightforward. Just gonna need a tape measure of some sort, something to cut wire with. In this case, here's a pair of fencing pliers. Here's a pair of side cutters. And this fencing material we're using here is three feet wide, and the openings are two inches by four inches. It's also a good idea to have a pair of gloves with this project. So this is a five foot tape measure, real simple. It's a lot easier to deal with than that big 30 foot metal one. I'm just gonna attach the end of it right here this little stick, I've put a split in it, and I've measured around five feet to this point that's chewed off, and I'll come around this way, and there's another 18 inches. We'll just round it to 20. For a total of 80 inches is the circumference of this tree. We don't want to cut the wire to that length because it'll be too tight, so we're going to add about 20 inches for a total of 100 inches. The reason we do that is to allow some space all the way around our tree for future growth. Otherwise, your tree is gonna grow and press into that wire, and we don't want that. So we've rolled this wire out. I find if you roll it out the other way, it always wants to curl up and hit you in the face. So we've rolled it out, flattened it down a little bit, and here's our 100 inches right here. So we're gonna just cut right through this section of the wire. When we cut this, we want to leave this portion of the wire long. So I'm going to cut against this far side. And this gives us something to wrap back around when we connect it with that other side. So we can just cut them off like this with a pair of side cutters. If you've got a pair of fencing pliers, that's great. They've got a cutter on either side. And you can do the same thing. Just get right in there and cut those off. We're just gonna bring that over, marry it up to this other side, and then I'll just, with my right hand, I'll hold it, and with my left, I can just take and bend these right around, just like that. And that attaches the fencing. What's nice is in the future, should I decide to remove this and put some longer fencing, it's real easy to take this apart, take this wire off, use it for a different tree, and put a longer piece on here. So you can see how this limb of the tree that flares out is putting some strain on our wire. I'm gonna take and cut a piece of this out, which will allow uh, the, the wire to open up and give us a little more room around the circumference of this tree. So we'll just cut this off right around here. Look at that. That really opened it up up here. Gave us quite a bit more space between the tree and the wire for future growth. Got this excess piece that I just cut out of here to open this up. Rather than just throwing this away, I think I'm just gonna attach it down here to hopefully prevent beavers from damaging this portion of the tree. 
We'll just go ahead and attach that right on here like this. Bend these, these tabs back around like we did before. Same thing right over here. And then what we're doing is we're just kind of adding a little more of a shield to, to keep those beavers from being able to get on this side of the tree and cause further damage. Some of these small little limbs coming off of here have wove through the wire so that as they get bigger, they're not pushing out on it as well. So by putting a little wire around your trees along your waterways, you prevent them from beaver damage. It doesn't harm the beavers at all, but it prevents something like this from happening to your beautiful cottonwood trees or other species of trees along the stream. This right here, it was a beautiful tree and now it's destined to become a part of one of their future beaver dams. Well folks, thanks a bunch for joining us today on Outdoors with Trav. If you're so inclined, please give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The tree we just worked on is about 30 feet that way upriver. If you come down just a little ways, look at all these beautiful young cottonwoods. Now, I wanted to point out, you don't have to wait for your tree to have damage before you actually go ahead and put wire around it. Preventative maintenance is a good thing.